With the release of Adobe Captivate 9.0.1, you can now have multi-state objects retain their state when returning to a slide. In this video, I show you one way you can take advantage of that new feature. Okay, well, let's get started here. So when Captivate 9, just just 9, not 9.0.1, but just the, the first version of Captivate 9 came out, they introduced, uh, over at Adobe, they introduced multi-state objects. And I thought, what a great opportunity to simplify uh, a lot of the advanced actions that, that you're currently doing, that I was currently doing. And one such advanced action was um, you know, a complicated show hide menu, uh, similar to what I have on screen here, that would navigate you to other parts of your course. And then at the end of those parts of your course, the idea is that you could return back to this master slide and make another selection. Well, it kind of worked, but it didn't work as expected. Uh, I created this uh, particular interaction, and I, what I had was three different modules with uh, blank empty check boxes. And let me just show you the, the state view here that I created. Um, the completed version of this uh, advanced, sorry, of this uh, multi-state object would show the button changing color to green. Uh, it changed the font color to black and it changed that empty checkbox to now a checked off checkbox to indicate to the user that they had in fact completed that particular requirement of the project. So let's exit the stage, uh, the, the multi-state view there. And so these three buttons ran the following or a version of the following um, advanced action. So let's just take a look here. Very simple, I was so excited by this. Uh, simply jump to slide two in this case, or three or four, depending on which version of the advanced action was required, and then change the state of the button that was clicked, in this case, the module one button, to completed. It logically makes sense. So that when the user was clicking module one, they'd be navigated to module two, learn what they need to know, click the return to menu button, and be navigated back to this page, where they would now see module one checked off and complete. Well, I got two entirely different results depending on how this particular project was run. So if I do a basic project preview, which we'll show, and this is a, um, a standard project. This isn't uh, responsive design. So here I am running the standard project version. I'm going to click on module one. It brings me to module one. I can click on the return to menu. It's complete. Great, so far works great. Let me click on module two. Let's return to that main menu. Oh, module one's now suddenly incomplete. That's not the way I thought it would work. So you can see the, the pattern of what's happening here. It, it shows the most recent um, multi-state object change, but doesn't show any of the previous previous versions of that. Let's do a preview with HTML5 and see if we get a different result. Okay, so I have module one, we'll click on that. We'll return to the menu, nothing. Not even a single multi-state object change at all. So that didn't work uh, either. It certainly didn't, it was even worse than what I was hoping, but Really good news, with the release of Adobe Captivate 9.0.1, the folks at Adobe have listened to my complaint as well as others and have uh, made an adjustment, a small little change that you can now take advantage of for projects like this one that I'm using, but all your other projects where you might be returning to a slide where a multi-state object has been previously changed. And all you need to do if you want to retain those previous states is to check off this little checkbox here. I need to do it one by one for each of the objects in question. And that's it. So let's now do a preview. We'll do a preview in browser. We'll do an HTML5 browser. 
uh, just to see that work in action. Great, so here we are at our menu page. We'll click module one, return to the menu, much better than last time. Module two, excellent. Module three, fantastic. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful or useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.